Right guys, I thought I'd do a review today on my Butler Hydraulic Tire Changer. It's an older machine, 1996 I think. But I'll tell you the model number and all that now. But I don't see many reviews on it. On... I've only had this about a year. And to be honest with you, it's hard work to get used to. But when you do, it's a cracking machine. Uh, like I said, there's just not many reviews on it. So I thought I'd do one. Um, I'll tell you the model number and then we go from there. What I like about it straight away. It's a model 1050. Model 1050. Oh, 1999. That's what it is. It's all A, not electric, which is good for vans. That's where a lot of them would uh, use them in. They, they run flat machines, they are. That's what they were designed for. They've got a different way of holding than a normal uh, tyre changer. I'll uh, show you now. Another good feature is this plastic head here, so you can't really mark the wheels. I'll show that as well now. It's a bit darker, yeah? so I'll use this light. But that's a handy little feature. All these cubby holes, yeah, to hold your stuff. So a bit of a story. Uh, 2007-2008, uh, I changed hundreds of tyres. I had a bit of a tyre company alongside my body shop uh, company. Uh, 130 brand new tyres in stock, but then the credit crunch 2008 just bang. Like someone knocked a switch on and just customer stopped coming. So, well, I lost my new tyre changer, my balance, and everything. It all went back. So, I've done quite a lot of tyres, but not with these machines, with a normal machine. So, so I get, I've had a few different machines over the years since, but this came along really cheap. Um, you know, 200 pounds for it, I think, but a year ago. And, uh, here we are. But this is all hydraulic on you. It's a little bit like stick. Bottom under stick. Give it a quick tap. But that's like power arms there, like. The assisted arm, because I had the assisted arm in one of my normal ones. I said I don't do much with it, so I'm a bit rusty with it. But I'll uh, change the tyre now. You just uh, pause him there. Yeah, so I only do it now and then, so don't judge me on. Uh, on changing tyres too much because, uh, like I said, I've been outfitted for a long time just for my own use this machine. But I'll give you a demonstration of how I do use it. We back on me. It's long yet. Push down, clamp up. You gotta make sure you catch in the right place on the flats. Which is what it's not doing. Why is it not doing that then? Start with it. Must have picked a bad wheel or something. Yeah, yeah. You can see that I haven't got many flats on it. Start again with a different wheel. You find a better wheel for that. It's got to be flat behind. If they are too old on the flat behind, you could just turn it around and maybe grab this front edge here. But I have got these blocks here. For grabbing the outside of the, the rim. So there's ways of doing it. This was not good either. First, so lock as much as you can. Oh, I put a minute off there, on a, off a car, because the, there was no minute on it. Well, let's put this on here. And I look under there then, so we can see. Right, don't go that way. Look on the middle then, and you see the underside. Right, let me just fit the end. Right, in the way. What I'm going to do, what I've learned, when you press it down to break the bead. Use the top one, keep the pressure on the top first. Otherwise I was just lifting the wheel off the machine and I was trying to bake the, the underside of the bead. That is stick, that's all. I take it up first, and then I do this top one in. Press down, power down on this. Power down on the, the end of one, 
Make sure I power down on the top one more. Right, so I power up on the other one, which I can see in a minute there. I said I don't do it much, but that's all I want. Okay, okay. I use this then, anyway. Put this up there, bring forward. Just put my light on here, put a bit of light on there. Okay. Slowly. I'm happy enough with it, I'll be honest. And you can buy these spare heads as well, I see them on eBay. You, can't, you could do with a new head though, so we we'll press down there. It says the dirt going there. your fingers don't go in there, in the back like that, ah, land backwards. That's all it is, looking to it. If you're doing low profiles, you're supposed to have blocks that go under this side. I just put up the blocks under there, you know. Hold it down, and lower than that bead there, if you're going underneath there. That's got a built-in pump on the side, but it's like, pump funny. Yeah, there. There's something wrong there. So I just use a normal. Like I said, the leaking tire anyway. I just use my normal pump on the airline. Just pump them up. That's all. tire changer but it does take some getting used to them arms that's the only thing but they help you as well you can push it down to hold you on the same top and off the jaw they are twisted arms they are they pump in when I got it the clever things very expensive machine new 
a couple of inches, isn't he? Butler and Hunter, I think. Is it Hunter? Yeah, I think it's a Hunter machine. Anyway, like I said, I'll buy a new one of them. And uh, these rollers, one of them's got a bit of damage there. Still works alright. Got, got a few gouges in there. That's all it is, really. I say it's an old machine, but they're well made. Alright. I thought I'd show it. I know it's not the best uh, demo ever, especially with these bloody wheels I use. Anyway, alright. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.